far before, not without any bum cords. Bum cords? Oh, and the star still on the Christmas tree. I want to know what you think about that. What is it? Well, I was going to ask you that. Oh, it's a piece of wood. Well, I know that. And it's hideous. Yeah, I know that as well. And of course it would be, wouldn't it? It's my Christmas present from your other mummy. Oh. And I'm writing my thank you letter. I've got as far as, dear Mrs Price, thank you so much for my really beautiful... And then I don't know what to put. Well, <laughs> says here what it is. Does it? Here, yeah, look, it says it's a piece of the Mary Rose. Oh, well, that's easy then, isn't it? Dear Mrs Price, thank you so much for my really beautiful piece of the... Mary Rose? Hmm. You mean that ship that sank with all hands? And feet, yeah. <laughs> it's a piece of the original timbers. It isn't. It is. Oh, put it down. Don't touch it. <laughs> Why not? You never know where it's been. <laughs> Yes, we do. It's been at the bottom of the sea for hundreds of years. With all those poor dead sailors. Oh, go and wash your hands, love. It might be covered in scurvy. <laughs> Either that ship was Henry VIII's pride and joy. No, and he were no better than he should be. I dread to think what he was covered in. <laughs> oh, what a thing to give somebody for Christmas. It's morbid. <laughs> Mind you, at least it don't make a noise. <laughs> Meaning? Nothing. Good. Little donkey, little donkey, had a busy day. I'm home, Robert. Good. Little She's all Robert. I said, good, Mary, Mary. Oh, who's that? I'll go. Gladly. Hey, Ed, I'm getting it. I'm really getting it. Listen to this. Oh, super, darling. Darling. I hadn't started yet. Before you do, I met Major Miller in the lift. Oh, yes. Groped you, did he? I'd rather he had. Oh, that's very nice. Well, nicer than being told that he's fed up to the back teeth with your little donkey. Fed up to the back teeth with my... I hope you told him that I was practising for the hospital concert. Yes. What did he say? God help the patients. All the nerve. I wouldn't mind, but he has Radio 3 on full blast all day. Yes. But Radio 3 does know more than one piece of music. So do I know more than one piece of music. Dear love, then you'd better start playing it, cos that was Lady White at the door, accompanied by Miss Porkender, and they are sick to the back teeth of Little Donkey. Oh, no. Well, I hope you told them where to go. I did. To the chemist for some earplugs. <laughs> They're getting me some as well. <laughs> Major Miller's been complaining too. Silly old fool. Now, Shane, he does have a point, you know. I mean, he's only at the other side of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he is. And he wants another piece of music, does he? Right. Tie a yellow ribbon round that old oak tree. Had a busy day. He always goes wrong there. <laughs> it's much better, Shane. Much better, love. I'm only closing this because of the draft. <laughs> we ought to tell him the truth, really, oughtn't we? We ought to tell him he's awful. What's the point? He wouldn't believe us. He might believe the audience when they start throwing things. I'll die if they do. I will. I'll die. Then go prepared. Wear your black. 
Not another neighbour. I've no idea we had so many. They shoot horses, don't they? <laughs> oh, Dr Bill, come in. How nice. I'll put the kettle on. Segovia's in the lounge. Now, Ida, I can't stay for long because I'm back on duty at six, but I do want a quick word with Robert. Well, do me a favour. Make it a slow word. What do you mean? Give us a rest from Little Donkey. Oh, practising hard, is he? Well, put it like this. The four surrounding flats are up for sale, but he's happy. Is he? Well, you go in and see for yourself. See you later. Little Donkey. Oh, Ida, not you as well. <laughs> Say that again. Sister Murphy is singing Little Donkey. My Little Donkey? Yeah. <laughs> Big Sister Murphy. Yes. <laughs> OK, OK, no hassle. I'll sing my other song. Your other song? Tie your yellow ribbon round the world. Your tree, it's been free. Why not? One of the porters is doing that. Oh, no. I'm out of the concert, then. No, you're not out of the concert, Robert. Here what we are. So I'm afraid it's mince pies and Christmas cake. <laughs> and will be until Easter. <laughs> Never mind, the tea's hot. Ida? Do you take sugar, Dr Bill? No, thanks, Ida. I'm out of the concert. I wish I didn't. I've tried those sweetener thick, but... Out of the concert. Oh, hi, Bill. Hi, Ange. Never mind the hi, Bill. Oh. Hi, Ange. He's out of the concert, Ange. He's what? I am, Ange. I'm out of the concert. But that was awful. He wasn't that terrible, was he, Ida? Well... You're yeah, not out of the concert, Robert. Not unless you want to be. you just got to find another act. Like what? At three days' notice? Up to you, old mate. Anything you like. Look, I've got to be getting back, so give me a buzz when you made up your mind, all right? Hey, where'd you get that from? Believe it or not, the Mary Rose. The Mary Rose? I saw them raise that. It was great. And this is a piece of... Do you like it? Oh, I think it's hideous. It's a piece of history, this. It is all yours. Uh, Shane, you don't mind if I give him your other mummy's... Pre- I've got it! I've got it! I know what I'll do. I'll juggle. Juggle? <laughs> yes, juggle. Can you juggle? Oh, I know. Anyone can juggle. Look. <laughs> I'll be all right with plates. <laughs> right, are you both ready? Well, I am. What about you, Angie? Okay. <laughs> We're ready. Right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on any stage, I will attempt the impossible. Is he going to spit in his own ear? <laughs> <laughs> Ida, this requires great concentration. Sorry. Right, on three. One, two. Shane. What? Those are my last three plays. <laughs> Which are in no danger. And one, two, three. <laughs> How are we off for sources, Ida? I'll go. I better know who it is. Who? Her in the flat below. Saying if it's all right to us, can we go back to Little Donkey? <laughs> Why juggling, Shane? Why not something simple? Like knife throwing? <laughs> hey! Oh, no, Robert! <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Good King Wenceslas does look <laughs> on the feast of Stephen. <laughs> Go on. I don't know anymore. Well, come back when you've learned the rest. What do you want? Don't be hostile, our Ida. It does things to your face. I brought you this. What is it? Your Christmas card. On the 28th of December? Well, better late than never. Oh, give it it. One pound sixty. Yeah, shocking, wasn't it? Not really, Wilfred. Not when the six is in pencil and the pounds in ink. <laughs> Verse is beautiful. Have a read. In each man's life, one woman reigns supreme above all other. She's gentle, kind and loving too. She is his grey head mother. <laughs> now look here. Happy Christmas. Get off. Oh, look, I, I, don't, I know what you're going to say, but I couldn't find one that said sister. You might have done if you tried before Christmas. Where's my present? I knew I'd forgotten something. Don't bother. Go back and get it. Hey, look, I don't listen. Oh. Come in then. 
grey-haired mother in death. <laughs> Go on. Juggling? Why juggling? Because no one else was doing it. Well, I don't suppose anyone else was doing a high wire act. Hey, yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> I'm afraid it's mince pies and Christmas cake again. And I'm sorry, but there are no plates. I don't suppose you've got any clogs, have you? Instead of plates? Look, I'm talking to my nephew. How about a clog dance? A clog dance? Yes, it's dead easy. Look, I'll show you. I'll just roll my trousers up so that you can see my feet. Do we have to? Oh, Wilfred, put those little white legs away. <laughs> Showing him, that's all. Right, now watch this. Get it off! <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Right. <laughs> 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 it's simplicity itself. You have a go. Me? Yes, go on. Well... Hopeless. <laughs> All right, give me a chance. Show me again. It's pointless. You haven't got it, lad. It's not there. These things can skip a generation. Now, our Ida, she's got it. Oh, uh, Wilfred. Uh, <laughs> yes, we used to do it at parties, didn't we, Ida? We were famous for it. <laughs> what else did you do at parties? Now, there's a question. <laughs> Let me think. I'll tell you what we did do. And you could do it too, lad. What? A mind reading act. Hey, hey yeah. I've forgotten all about yeah. that. How did it go again? Now, uh, watch this. Ta da! Are you ready, Madame Zelda? At your command, Professor Negresco. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Zelda. At your command, Professor Negresco. Oh, Robin, it must be one in the morning. Well, to be strictly accurate, it's uh, five past, ten past and quarter past. <laughs> Ida, is there any more coffee in the pot? Ida. Hmm? <laughs> is there any more coffee in the pot? No. Where have they got to? Well, he's still teaching her the codes. They've done watches. That's... Time is passing. Right. And now pocket calculators. What does all this add up to? Right. And now they're going to do... Don't gonna... tell her. She's got to get it. Are you ready, Madam Zelda? At your command, Professor. Now I've forgotten your name. <laughs> oh, no, I don't believe it. Negresco. And I have in my hand an object of... Uh... Oh, yes. Mind... Blowing beauty. What can it be? What can it be? What can what be, Wilfred? <laughs> oh! What can it be? What can it be? If she gets it wrong again, I'm packing my bags. <laughs> Mind blowing. Oh. Time is passing means you're holding a watch, doesn't it? Yes. And, um... What can all this add up to means you're holding a pocket calculator, doesn't it? Yes, yes. So mind-blowing means you're holding... Go on, Ange. It's the rain in Spain, this. Mind-blowing. It's not a trumpet, is it? <laughs> I'll make another pot of coffee. It's a handkerchief, love, but you're doing your best. <laughs> in a time warp, am I? Busy day. Oh, hi, Ida. Why are you playing that? Old time's sake. 
Oh, you're not going back to it, are you? I just wish I could. Now, you mustn't be despondent. I know Angie's not what you call a natural mind reader, but given time and patience... We're not doing it either. What? We talked it over in bed last night, and it's a non-starter. Well, it was asking a lot of her, I know that. But you were so looking forward to it. It's not the end of the world. You never know, Sister Murphy might go down with typhoid. <laughs> or you might find another partner. Another partner, Ida? The concert's tomorrow night. Where am I going to find another partner? Who knows the patter, who knows the codes, who knows the... <laughs> you wouldn't. I might, if you ask me nicely. Oh, Ida, I love you. Come here. <laughs> oh, Professor Negresco and me in my dressing gown. <laughs> Mummy's a little strange. <laughs> Well, it's 22, 10 to and 5 to 7. I'm so nervous. Well, don't be, they'll be all right. The will smash it. Oh, tell you what, open these. Oh, Wilfred, how sweet of you. Well, you're worth it. Oh. <laughs> Sell before December 1980. Well, it's a vintage year for chocolates. <laughs> Can I have the hazel cluster? <laughs> Donkey. <laughs> Who is it? Madam Zelda. Who? Oh, come in, Ida. What do you think? <laughs> you don't like it. I do, it's great, it's great. It's just not quite what I was expecting. Well, it's all they had left at the high <laughs> shop. Well, this and Charlie Chaplin. Is it all right? I told you, it's fine. Uh, no, look, I've got the mask. And Bill is collecting the mystery objects from the audience. Oh, we will get the right mystery objects, won't he? He won't let us down. Oh, of course he won't. I gave him the list myself. Watch, calculator, hanky, <coughs> gallstones. Oh, gallstones. <laughs> I feel sick. When do we go on? Any minute now, I think. We follow the little donkey. What with? A bucket and shovel? <laughs> do you know I feel quite nervous? There's no need to. Who is it? Oh, hi, Jane. Where are they up to? Sister Murphy's just started Little Donkey, so Bill said to make sure you're ready. Right, thanks, Jane. Ready, Ida? As I ever will be. Just let me run over the objects again. Watch, pocket calculator, handkerchief. Well, the handkerchief's mine. It's pink with a J in the corner. Pink with a J in the corner. Thanks, love. And the gallstone came from Mr... I don't want to... <laughs> After you, Professor Negresco. Gallstone, indeed. I do not like what I am seeing. What are you seeing, Madame Zelda? Can Madame Zelda say? Can Madame Zelda see? I am seeing pain and suffering and long, long knives. Ah! It is plain now. Is Goldstone. Hooray! And now, Madame Zelda. No, no, memento, silver play. <laughs> I wish to clear my mind of this goldstone. It is going. It is going. It is gone. And now I am ready for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, absolute silence, please, while Madame Zelda attempts to pierce. The dark clouds of the unknown. It's hypodermic syringe. <laughs> I hadn't even picked it up yet. <laughs> How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I hadn't even picked it up, but... Yes, here it is. A hypodermic syringe. <laughs> yes, a hypodermic syringe handed in by one of you in a vain attempt to baffle the unbaffleable, to foil the unfoilable, to mystify the unmystifiable. Shane, I mean, Professor, <laughs> I'm a client of memento. Hmm? <laughs> Madame Zelda is still on the stage, so don't hog her limelight. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It is a long way home to Budapest, <laughs> and my <mine laughs> powers is fading fast. Hang on in there, Madame Zelda. There is only one more object left. One final object. 
much. Okay, but pronto, pronto, prego. The bar is closing at fünf past ten. <laughs> One last effort then, Madame Zelda. One last try to raise the curtain of the dark. It's a Venetian blind. To let a chink of light shine through. It's a faulty Venetian blind. <laughs> It's my little joke. So, laughing, please. I told you there'd be a smash yet. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. And now, now, I concentrate. You are holding the object in your mitt. I am holding it now. What can it be? What can it be? Can Madame Zelda say? Can Madame Zelda see with her mind-blowing powers? It is difficult. My mind-blowing powers is fading. It is the final object, Madame Zelda. Don't fail us now. Madame Zelda never fails. It is a handkerchief. It is a pink handkerchief. And, and in the corner is a letter. Ah, uh, J. Oh. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? One pink handkerchief and in the corner... Yes, the letter J! <laughs> a great finish to a great performance. And on behalf of Madame Zelda and myself, Professor Negresco, allow me to say... Hold it there, Professor. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we give the little lady one last challenge? What? What? Yeah. OK with you, Professor? I, I don't know. Uh, Madame Zelda is very tired. Just to prove that there's no fixing going on. Uh, Madame Zelda, I don't know how you feel about this. Don't you? You should. Here you go, <laughs> Professor. And the best of hunger and luck. I won't forget this. Good grief. <laughs> oh, well, Madame Zelda, what has the good doctor given me to hold? Um, can Madame Zelda say... Can Madame Zelda see? see. Glass eye? <laughs> no, Madame Zelda, it is not a glass eye. Don't push your powers. Uh, this hideous object. Hideous? I wouldn't want you to think otherwise. Wouldn't? Would. Oh, let me sink, let me sink. Oh, right on, Madame Zelda, keep sinking. For the present... Keep sinking. A hideous wooden crack sinking? Uh, am I right in thinking I hear the screams of the matlows as they sink to the bottom of the sea? Oh, you are, Madame Zelda. Yes, you are. So, what do I have in my hand? Is a piece of history. Is a piece of the good ship... Mary! Oh, ooh! What? What? <laughs> what? I've got a splinter. Where? Where? Uh, uh, you were saying, Madame Zelda. Oh, no, Madame Zelda. Let's... Oh, shame. That's really nasty. I die. Uh, well, well, I need hot water and tweezers. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.